A Swain County woman is charged in a murder-for-hire plot. Investigators say 45-year-old Teresa Johnson offered to pay someone to kill her friend's parents. News 13's Kimberly King joins us live at the Swain County Jail. Kim Johnson is facing multiple charges. That's right, Larry. Felonies that actually could put her away for life. Investigators say the motive is a common one in charges like this of an alleged conspiracy money. With a smile on her face in a previous mugshot, Teresa Johnson, investigators say, had a sinister plan to hire a friend to murder her other friend's parents. She knew these, this couple very well. Takes a very cold-hearted, calculated person to, to try to pull that off. She said, well, things is coming to a head. Investigators say James is who Johnson asked to commit the killings. He asked we not show his identity, fearing Johnson's friends. He says she had the weapon. It's a 9 millimeter pistol. She said, there's two people down there that I want killed. Her plan, he says, was to take him with her to South Georgia, where the couple in their 70s lived. In return, she assured James there was lots of money. The thought of murdering the couple in their 70s? It was kind of a shock to me, and I didn't sleep all that night. And I bugged the sheriff's office all that morning to talk to him. He didn't want to have anything to do with this, and he was going to make sure that uh, we didn't think that he did have something to do with so he came forward with all the information. James turned informant wired for recording. He went back to the campground where he and Teresa lived in side-by-side -side trailers and got Johnson on audio leading police to the arrest. Take two older people's life just over money, anybody's life over money. That's really cold blood. Johnson is known to investigators. According to police here, her car was found abandoned in a ditch a year and a half ago, and the SBI was involved in a missing persons investigation. Investigators say she does have connections to Cordell, Georgia, where she is charged with trying to get a conspiracy to commit murder of the couple that lived there. Reporting live in Swain County, Kimberly King, News 13.